everybody, and welcome to Lefty Knitter Podcast YouTube Knit Channel. I don't know what people are calling it nowadays. It's so funny. Knit Tube. Knit Tube? Is that what? Yeah. Knit Tube. That's like the new thing, right? I gotta be hip with the with the thing. <laughs> this is episode 172. My name's Aquila, and I live in Baltimore, Maryland with my family. I like to knit and show you guys what I make. You would have already seen a video of me crocheting some uh, scrubbies. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but ignore this thing. I, I apparently have a visitor. I have now bought some pimple pads to try to use. They look like band-aids for pimples. I'm not quite sure. I was like, I'll try them. I never get things like that that bad anymore. I used to have terrible acne as a younger, <sighs> person and yeah it's okay all right if you're new to the channel sorry you've already heard about my facial blemishes and if you're returning you know that this is what I put you guys through every week I record through the week I smoosh it together and I post on Saturdays thank you everyone for acknowledging that sometimes you just need to take a week off I felt like I had no content because all I've worked on is John's sweater literally like most of everything. That's what I've done. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys that maybe tomorrow because I am doing a little bit of fixing. Yeah. But also all the contributions to your favorite sport. That's been fun. I will probably draw that winner at the end of this episode. So stay tuned. Yeah. All right. I was showing you those scrubbies. Would anybody want to have, I could do a like tutorial here on YouTube of those just of how I make them I, I it's nobody's pattern that I follow it's just my knowledge of crochet and how I like my scrubbies to be totally cool if you don't but if you do let me know down in the uh, comment section I also mentioned in the last episode that the down bar it's like so it's like an accordion menu or something like that is like I guess one of the terms but they also call it the carrot and I was Googling that because I wasn't sure if that was right or not after I had said it. And it is called the C-A-R-E-T for the down arrow, which is an accordion expansion thing. So C-A-R-E-T, not like carrot that you eat. <laughs> Just clarifying. Okay, scrubbies. This is my official scrubby bag. This set is actually for my neighbor Mo. She really loved, I gave her one of the ones from the last color that I was just making them out of. And I said, try it. And then if you like it, you can get that yarn at Walmart or Michael's or Joann's. You can get it like any of those places. She didn't find any colors she liked. So the other day I came home with this one, which I swear it's like Muppet colors. <laughs> This one is called Ocean. Now this is the brand I like to use. This is the Red Heart Scrubby. Uh, like I've said in many episodes before, the solid colors you get more for your money because you get more yardage. The other color I bought was this one, red. It is called Cherry and I got nine scrubbies. Now depending I guess on your attention and whatnot, now I, got not, I get nine out of the solid, so here's my stack. I have woven all my ends except on like three, so this is gonna go to my neighbor, and I'm very excited to gift this to her, you know, the Elmo scrubbies. So she picked red out of the, the two colors. And again, I use a my tulip hooks. I love these hooks. This is the I9 or 5.5 millimeter. It's not gonna focus, but that's what I use. But again, let me know down below if you would like to see how I make mine. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's very basic crochet, in my opinion. And if you've made enough era, 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 why can't I say that word? Amagurumis. There we go. Um, a lot of them start off with like going in the round to make heads and whatnot. So you might already have the knowledge. I just would give you my numbers and show you what I do. You know, these aren't gonna always be perfect because finding that the, the space um, 
before the scrubby, sorry, stuck in my hair, is difficult because of its furry texture. But it's a scrubby. I have an acquisition I also want to show you. I have admired this. I believe she goes by she pronouns, so I'm going to say woman. I've admired this woman. She does ice dyeing. She does spinning. She has all this stuff. I don't know. I think maybe her name's Ashley, but I'm not sure. But her Instagram is Black Sheep Goods. I will link it down below. And she also makes looms for weaving. And I have admired this one. And she had like a birthday sale or something. So I purchased it. I don't know how I'm going to weave it yet because I feel like I want to spin something for it. I love it so much. Oh, here, you can see black sheep goods, in case you couldn't understand me. She ice dyes all this stuff. I have an ice dyed long sleeve cropped top that I bought for underneath of my overalls and I love it. So this is the moon phases and you will take just a like thinner string of strand of something go across so you have all your places to weave and then I've seen people weave with some really chunky hand spun I've seen people do more fine stuff so you could do whatever you want and I'm very excited uh, to try this the nice thing about it is I mean if I hate it I just cut it out and then I restart it so I'm excited I hope I can do this some justice because I think it's really, really cool. And it already has like the pre-drawn holes at the top uh, to hang it. So I don't have to do like anything. She painted hers. She painted it like with black stain, not fully black, just to like stain it. It was really cool looking. Oh wait, I am right. It's Ashley, it's right here. All right, that's all I have to show you. I want to show you the sweater, but I also want to video me fixing some stuff. Um, I have that Coco Knits Fix It tool, I believe they call it. It's a little mini crochet hook with two ends on it, and I want to watch another video or two. I'm not sure if I'm doing exactly the way it's intended to be used, so I want to watch a video before I show you guys the craziness that I've been doing with it. <laughs> but I have to drop down the whole pocket. I'll show you. I'll show you I'll show you later I'll just yeah I started working fixing I, I I thought I could get away with not fixing it I couldn't I couldn't do it like that video no one's gonna notice oh I'm gonna notice I'm gonna notice big time so there you go all right <laughs> this should be like a screenshot I love that Although it's not done. <laughs> All right, rambling. Okay, everybody, I wanted to show you guys. I can't show you the whole garment, but I was here last time. This is John's second breakfast cardigan. I was down here, but I was able to start my pockets. Well, they're moss stitch, right? So that one looks fine. It's a double moss stitch, I think, because it's a knit one purl one for two rows and then purl one knit one for two rows so you get this double moss stitch okay well i messed up i messed up on this side bad i gotta flip this around to make it work for me to be able to show you guys what i'm doing so there was a row can you see it this one. What I ended up doing, if I pull it up real close, I did three rows where there was three knits on top of each other and three pearls on top of each other. So that was a, a huge problem. So I'm going along this row here and I decided I'm going to drop back and fix them all. So I've fixed all of these columns and I thought I would show you my process because I'm using the stitch fix tool by Coco Knits. If you don't know what that is, I'll show you. I might have to adjust this again to be able to show you guys what I'm doing. 
but I'll show you. <laughs> I got this bag. I'm not for everyone. <laughs> and so I am using this tool right here. It is a D hook. Has hooks on both ends. See? There's a hook on both ends. And it's for fixing drop stitches. See? And it's by Coco Knits. She has a video. I watched her video because why not watch the person that, you know, the stitch fixer. There you go. Um, so it's really, it's really handy. And I watched her video and what I was doing wasn't quite exactly, it's not, it wasn't the wrong way, but I was just being a little ridiculous about how I was fixing it. So let me show you guys. I've already marked the next stitch that I have to drop down to. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to fix it and I'll show you guys. So she has a lot of really great handy tips in her video and probably should, you should probably watch that because it's very good. My video will not be recorded as well as I believe hers is. So I have all these, well, I'm working with two yarns cause I'm switching skeins. So we're going to drop that and pull these back out. So they're not in the way. And then we're going to drop all the way down this column. Now, I know this row, it's going to be two knits because this is two pearls. So if I count my ladders, I know I'm going to have two knits, two pearls, two knits, two pearls. Two knits, two pearls, two knits, two pearls, two knits pearl and then I grabbed did I grab the right one I'm gonna shove that through I might have to recount that but all right so now that I've dropped down I'm not sure if I have my camera set up the best way to show you guys I might try to adjust real quick and knock everything crazily around I just don't want to get in the way of like showing you guys but also fixing it so <laughs> all right so we're gonna count again or go again so two knit two pearl two knit two pearl two knit two pearl two knit two pearl two knit so this should be two pearls so this was my last knit so to do the pearls I was doing it like a crazy way Let's pick, fix, pick up this stitch first. All right. So the way she shows you how to do it, which is kind of what I was doing. Now, you, she also shows you how you read your stitches a little. Um, I guess it maybe shows up better. I don't know. Maybe it shows up better in um, just the garter that she was doing. But your pearls will... this. The ladders will be to the front and the knit ladders will be further to the back. So mine don't look that way because maybe they're sitting beside two knits there. Maybe that's the problem because you have knits on these each side. So that's why the yarn's sitting further back. And then that would be true because if you're knitting in garter, you're not doing a one by one rib. So because these are two knits, the yarn's in the back. So that means these are both pearls. So... To fix them, you go underneath, you bring your hook all the way up, you bring the stitch over, and then you pick it up, pull it through, and there you go. I'm going to do that again, and hopefully you guys can tell. So you're going to go under, pull it all the way up, pull your stitch under that ladder so now everything's in front of the ladder you twist your hook you grab the ladder and you do a flippy <laughs> so the pearls i was doing a weird way but that is so much easier knits are, e are easier so to do a knit you have your stitch making sure it's not twisted obviously so you have your stitch you go behind the ladder you pull it through knits are so much easier you go behind the ladder you pull it through. <laughs> there you go. 
Now, let's kind of do a tug on that and make sure it looks right. Looks all right. I think it'll look better once I can really tell, but I want to make sure that I am count. I did count my rows correctly, right? Uh, I might fast forward while I count again. <laughs> Dunets, three pearls, Dunets, three pearls. Dunets, two pearls, Dunets. Yep, pearls. Okay, I was doing it right. All right, let's do another pearl. So, give your stitch a little tug. You go under the ladder, you bring it all the way up. You pull your stitch up and over the ladder to the front. You grab the ladder and you flip your tool. You go under, pull it all the way up under the ladder to the front, flip your hook, pull it up. That one I did not pull through right. There we go. So I hope that's making sense. <laughs> All right. I'll probably just speed this up. One, two knits. Pearl. All right, now what did I do here? It's in the front. That doesn't seem right. It's right. Okay. I feel like because I'm leaning all kinds of crazy to try to show you guys, I am struggling a little. Okay. Two knits. Two pearls. Two knits. That one. I think I did that whole row. <laughs> uh, no, it's right. It's right. So my last stitch was pearl knit, and this is pearl. Because I had two knits, but this is pearl. All right, and now I'm ready to find the next one and fix that one. Can you tell that I just fixed that? That'll come out in blocking all those ladders, extra yarn from the ladders. But that's looking better. So now I got to do this row. 
and that's the one right there that has three so I got to drop it all the way down to this stitch all right this is what I'll be doing the rest of the night I know that's not the best probably video but um, like I said I'm gonna link the coconuts video down below so you guys can see what I watched but I'm gonna fix this this row because it is very distinctive and different looking but this looks so much better over here correct correct all right thanks guys hey everyone it's a club and it's now you know who I am why why am I saying that I feel like I'm recording the beginning of the episode Ugh. it is July 30th it's Saturday and I need to round up this video apologies for the hat this thing is not looking pretty so we're gonna just hide it with a hat it's it might be distracting and I'm sorry uh so let's, first things first, I have my tablet here. We're going to pick a random comment for the favorite sport. And let's just give you a preview. Hazel asked, uh, picked the question and she picked the yarn. So, oh, I put it all in one bag. You're going to be winning the pink gradient set and also the dream and color uh, skate. So, U.S. winners only, please uh, message, private message me or uh, comment, I, I, we'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out. Okay, so let's get YouTube comments. Um, okay, I might have to pause because it's being weird. Hold on. Okay, I was struggling. The site I usually use is being weird and saying that it can't capture any of the comments. So I don't know what's up with that. This site, is finding 45 comments, which I know is correct because I went and looked at how many comments were on that video. I feel like there was more actually. Well, we're gonna pick a winner. All right, Carla, Lin <laughs> Carla L, uh, your comment was love the side tracks. Favorite sport to watch is hockey. Love to kayak and swim. Thank you very much for commenting. Please con uh, contact me uh, the best way that is best for you and we will get this figured out. I didn't want to try to pronounce your last name. I don't want to mess it up. So I hate pronouncing people's names wrong. It's like, I feel so terrible. But Carla L, so you should know your comment. Uh, thank you to everyone who entered. Also, yes, I think knitting is a sport. You know why? Because they do have knitting competitions. Is that not correct? I know Marilyn Sheep and Wool has a sh uh, sheep to sweater competition. And so how is that not a sport if you're competing? So there you go. All right, so let's show you guys some stuff. Uh, it has been a crazy, crazy, crazy week for me in general. Uh, it is our fiscal year end at my work. And yeah, 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 yeah. If anybody knows how cash-based business fiscal year ends work, it's um, not fun. It's just not fun. So, and then yesterday, we knew, okay, we knew for a while that we needed a new hot water heater. It was still working and we we knew it and we just didn't do it we didn't act soon enough luckily it didn't just like completely fall out and water be everywhere it was a very slow trickly not a completely slow trickly leak but it was leaking and thank goodness we have a friend named Andy and he helped John install a new hot water heater for us and John was very excited because he actually filled our tub without having to boil water. Like, that's amazing. Like, that sounds so terrible that we were, <laughs> we were living that way. But it's now done. That interrupted our day yesterday. It was a little chaotic, but better. It's better. All right, now let's show you guys some knitting stuff. So I <sighs> cranked these on my machine. These are for a friend and I need to get them in the mail. You guys have seen this yarn quite a few times. This yarn is, uh, I tried making, I believe a hat. I tried making something else. It just was not working, y'all. It was not working. So finally, 
It was sitting there in front of my face all caked up. It wanted to be used so desperately and I used it. This is Plucky Knitter. This is a colorway based off of Dirty Dancing. I think it was called like I Carried a Watermelon or something like that. And this is a colorway you can't get anymore or you can't get anything from this dyer. This is Marigold Jen and she used to sell, I think they were Habsies, Habsie skeins. So this was only 50 grams. But I loved the idea of these two together because all these pops of the same like color was in it and I loved it. So I made some roll tops and I think they're so fun. And I really hope the recipient also likes them too. So yeah, I cranked those. So you guys didn't even know that was coming. Boom, there you go. Uh, the other thing that I've worked on obviously is John's sweater. I have gotten pretty far and you guys have seen that I got into the pockets cause I have previous video in this video that I messed up a row. I totally messed it up, but I fixed it and it looks so much better. So I'm gonna pull this out and show you guys. I am now on the ribbing on the bottom. How exciting. Boom. Okay, so the pocket that I messed up on was this one. So I showed you guys, I'm gonna show you the one that I didn't mess up on first and you guys can compare and contrast. So I did not mess up on this one. Now let me show you guys my fix. And it looks, I think it looks really great. I don't even think you can tell that I messed up. Sorry, I was talking downwards and not up at the camera. And I messed up like way up here. So if you do notice any subtle Shape, like difference, I think that's gonna block out. It's gonna block out. So let me, let me show you guys where I was the last time you actually saw the whole sweater. Let's do this. I was, I'd knit all this. And now I have knit from here, obviously all the way down to here. Oh my goodness. I know it looks, I look so silly doing that, but this is, I, I'm so happy with this. I am so happy with this. I hope John's gonna be really happy with this too. He's in the other room and probably hears me and is probably thinking in his head how much he either loves it or hates it already. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, my butt is feeling better. If you are <laughs> not a new viewer, if stop, because you're shaking my table. The monster is right here. The monster. Uh, I had fallen roller skating and I definitely did something to my tailbone and it's feeling better. I'm still achy, but it's, it's way better than it was. Hi, monster. <laughs> All right. I have one more thing to show you and it's not an acquisition and it's an actual old acquisition that I feel, finally think I have an idea what I'm gonna do with it. I went to the same fairgrounds as Maryland Sheep and Wool holds the Alpaca Festival and we went last year, it's in November. We went and I bought some yarn and the first yarn I bought was a grab bag from the Fibrist and you get two random skeins. So I gotten these two random skeins from the Fibrist. And I knew I wanted, so I, I did this and then I was like, okay, now I'm going to go search the fairgrounds to find other colors that go with this and make a sweater. And I was like, I'm going to get five skeins. So then I ended up going to Way. Hey, Way. I don't know if she watches, but she's a local uh, yarn dyer here in Maryland. She is actually on the fiber tour. The, is that what they call it? The Maryland, and you can go visit their studios. So she is one of the participants in that. We have not done that yet. Every time we've tried to go, like there was rain, there was this, there was that. Oh, and also very sad news if you don't know, um, one of the people on the tour was Withers Wool and Kathy um, unexpectedly passed away um, within this, the, the last couple weeks. And they did hold, if you follow her on social media, um, they held like a little thing for her and it's just really sad to see people in the community um, that are no longer with us now. So, um, yeah, she had the coolest booth that 
she had all this cool hand spun stuff and she she was always wearing cool things like i don't know like maybe not my style but they were neat okay john's got to make a lot of noise so let's pause apparently hazel needed ice water um so gosh uh so yeah so her husband and her ran withers wool and he is going to continue um running it it probably it you know Having somebody not there anymore definitely changes a lot of things, and I just hope that uh, their family is doing as well as they can be. So, I don't know, like, the, everything that... I don't think, like, it was just unexpected, right? So, and it's not ours to know, privacy, things like that. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Color, colorway. So I actually bought a third skein while I was there, but I didn't bring that up. So I wanna show you the original colors I had ended up buying. So I bought this one from Way, and I bought this one. And I, uh, this was the one I was not always sure about, right? So this one. And then this was a new to me. So you guys have seen these, I'm sorry if you have watched for a long time. This was Bewitched Pigments, and this is the Wee Wren colorway, and I loved this because it had um, a lot of the greens in there. It had that brown. See that? See that? So, like, it's a really great color story. I want to make the Recalibrate top, and I don't think I'm going to need all these colors. So I'm going to insert a picture here of Recalibrate so you guys have an idea of what I'm saying right now. I also pulled this out of my stash. This is Stress Knits, and I thought that was pretty too within the color story, but I don't, I don't need that many skeins, and I definitely want to use these two, and this one, and then definitely this one. So let's drop these two out of the picture real quick. The picture should still be up there. So you make these, you make this panel in the, like, down the front and the back. And then you pick up and you knit sideways for the rest of the body and the arms. Well, I think I want to make, um, I'm not sure. I think I want to make one of the panels, because you can do the front and back different. So I think I want to make one panel, either for front or back, in this one. And then possibly this one. And then there's panels that go down the sides here. So I was thinking of, I love this green so much. So I was thinking of this one because these two to me are very contrasty and I'm either going to do, um, stripes going outward from the center panel with these two, or maybe larger hunks of stripes. I'm not quite sure. Cause I think it would be nice to have, because I believe it's garter stitch. So you would do two rows to have one ridge, right? That would be right. And then you would switch. But I think I might want to make them a little wider and do um, like two ridges or three ridges and then switch and do the other. I'm not sure yet. I have to cake all this up. I'm going to be posting this today. Please let me know down in the comments what you think. I love the color story. I showed it to um some of my podcasty friends we have a group that we talk on and they were like oh it's beautiful so I, I i love the way i'm going with it i just don't know how to lay it out now the designer which i will put all down below because i can't remember has a coloring page that you can color so i might do that or i might not i'm not quite sure but i'm pretty sure this is what i have decided on and not adding these in. This this one has that bluey tone to it that I'm not sure I want in there. And then this one is very pretty, but I don't need this much yarn for the sweater. Although I could break into it and do these two as that front panel, a back panel, two side panels, and then I could even add this in to the striping sequence. There was another one, I'm gonna steal somebody's picture, that they did really wide stripes and it made like a rain like a muted -y, a muted retro-y looking rainbow cat and um that was really pretty because it was like color blocking instead of like the striping so i i don't know i don't know let me know let me know what you think have you made the recalibrate top i still really like this
Tags are everywhere. Apologies. <sighs> okay, that's all I have to show. <sighs> Other than us watching Big Brother, because yes, we are obsessed. I am in the middle. I'm almost done reading The Unhoneymooners. That was a pretty short book. I have practically almost finished that. I, I could have finished it in like two days, but I didn't. But that's pretty good. And then I watched that show on Netflix that just can't, not a show. It's like one of those mini documentaries that they do that are like three or four episodes. The Most Hated Man on the Internet, which is about, I don't like... I don't want to give him any publicity whatsoever because he doesn't deserve it. But I, this happened in like 2012, 2013. So I was like on the internet using social media and whatnot. I just don't remember all of this happening. But again, I wasn't looking up revenge porn, right? So I wasn't looking for things on the internet that that's what this was about. <laughs> So if you've watched it, which I, I know Chris King has watched it, we were talking about it. And so it was just interesting. So if you like watching like documentaries, it's a pretty short one because, you know, it's only three episodes. So it's about three hours. That's been good. And then I have now went back and I had stopped watching It's Always Sunny for some reason. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I think that show is so hilarious. And... I had stopped watching it. I don't remember why. So I have went back and I think I am like, I don't even, I don't even know. I, I'm pretty sure I found kind of where I left off and I've been watching it. So maybe around season nine is where I'm at. They've got a lot of seasons and I don't know if they're actually still on TV or, or like doing new episodes. I'm not sure, but I do love that show. <laughs> There's like, they're just so funny. I love it. Okay, I have rambled for quite enough. I hope everybody is doing as well as they can. I know there's been like heat and other stuff happening and um, you know, you just don't know what's gonna happen in your own life at any moment. And uh, just make sure you're taking care of yourselves and your family and doing whatever that takes um, for your own well-being and checking in on each other. There we go, that's what I'm, I usually say too. All right. Uh, until the next episode, guys, uh, yeah, talk to you then. Bye.